Hello, welcome to creativenerds.co.uk Today we've just got a little quick tip to share with you on how to create polo photography also known as little mini planets using Photoshop It's a really simple tutorial so let's jump straight into it So all we're going to do is start off by grabbing a fo stock photo which is free download it from the internet which we will link up in the post and all it's simply is just a picture of some buildings and see. So to create our effect, we're going to start off by heading over to image, adjustments, sorry, um, I think rotate canvas, sorry. We want to rotate it 180 degrees. Yep. So once it's been rotated, you want to head over to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. Click the minus to zoom out a bit so we can see the preview a lot more clearly. And we want to select Rectangular to Polar. Make sure that has been selected and not Polar to Rectangular. Once you've selected Rectangular to Polar, select the OK button. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we want to grab the <coughs> patch tool and just highlight over this bit. Now all we want to do is just all the bits that uh, looks like the two two images have been pushed together. We just want to use the patch tool to get rid of. Them. Just a few clicks, and we're if uh, the mistakes are. Zoom in. We can also use the blur tool to bear parts of the images together. So it shows, this, as you can see, if I zoom out, there's like half a car, which doesn't not realistic so we just wanna blur so it looks like the two sides of the image to be merged together. <coughs> now all we want to do is a bit of a divide within the water so we just wanna drag it all the way down so it blurs them both together and then merge together. And then we wanna zoom out then once again we wanna image Rotate canvas 180 degrees. There we go. It's as simple as that. Just create it quick. Mini planet using Photoshop, which took less than a few minutes. It's just a little quick tip, a little screencast. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more quick tips coming from Crave Nerds.